Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from Thick Dragon Out Info. And today, I guess we are continuing the Impossible Game series. So I guess that would make this Impossible Game Part 2. And what is this BDR thinking? Like you're gonna push over an 88. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Idiot. Anyways. Yeah, um, the Impossible show, I guess, <laughs> is good games and tanks that are quite commonly viewed as shit. Or at least by me. That includes the Aero V39, which we had an episode on yesterday, two days ago? Something like that. I think it was yesterday. And today we have a episode... Well, no, it was two days ago, I think. Well, whatever. And today we have an episode in our 88. In my opinion, just as shit as the Aero V39, because it has many of the same problems. Narrow gun elevation. Mm-hmm. Check. Shitty gun... Um, narrow gun... Uh, not, excuse me. Let me rephrase that. Narrow gun traverse, so the horizontal movement of the gun, without turning the tracks. The elevation and depression, all bad. Armor, bad. It supposedly has a lot of armor, but the 88 is better armor than this thing and has l less weak spots. Pretty sad. So, okay, we are here on the... Where are we? There we go. El Haluf. But this is the old El Haluf. Keep that in mind. This is an 8.9 replay and not an 8.10. So it's still the old El Haluf. And I am joined by Monkey and Lola. So. We're taking a look here at the... What would you call it? The JK line, I guess? That flank, at least. And I got nothing. Absolutely nothing on them. I had a sort of shot earlier, but didn't have the depression to even aim at him. So, we're gonna focus on heavy over a bit. Or at least try. We can't see anything. <sighs> you see that crusader over there? Is he gonna peek out? No, he's dead. Okay, let's turn back. This thing also is so slow in turning, but I traded in my um, 88 for my uh, Black Prince, so I'm back on the heavy track now for the British. I gave up on it once, but uh, I'm gonna just soldier on and continue down that line eventually. I'm not enjoying it though, but okay, we got a target. Yeah, first shot massively misses. <laughs> Damn it. Just checking here what we have. This one's by far the best target for me right now. <sighs> that one went wide to the like, top left, straight into his turret, into his mantle. Bounced off his mantle, actually. And we lit him on fire. Nice. Look at that. Perfect smoke trail. <laughs> I lit him on fire a second time. <laughs> Oh, that had to suck to be him. Oh, man. Getting lit on fire twice. I must have hit his fuel tank. There's no other way. Well, uh, unless excessively lucky. But yeah, that's what happens when your fuel tank gets hit. Chance of fire increases drastically. Well. <coughs> and that, people, is why you aim for the engine compartment if you have the chance on tanks. Always aim for the engine. You always have that extra ch unless you can, you know, you definitely know where the ammo rack is. I mean, by all means, try to ammo rack them, but if you have the chance, um, not to, well, if you don't have the chance to ammo rack or you don't know where the ammo rack is in that particular tank, I would say just go for the, um, oh, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. nope, shot goes high, dang it. Yeah, one more for good luck. Nah, he moved. Okay, the hill isn't looking too great right now. The only is to put up a brave flanking maneuver. It just didn't help all that much. Our leopard is going on a scouting run after their leopard, and heavy hill is still looking pretty heavy. All of our tanks have sort of fallen back. There's no artillery, um, as you can see. But on that one target that T29 that we killed. Actually, we didn't even get the kill, which was kind of sucky since we got two fires on him. We got 1100 damage on this one tank. So that was pretty good. Now, 
team, score-wise, it's looking pretty good for us. We're up four kills. Three. Um, yeah. If you look at the team list, they had so many more heavies than we did. It was kind of unfair. And if the enemy team would have utilized all their enemies, or enemies, <laughs> all their heavies properly, they would have easily taken heavy hill and pushed on into our base. Without a sweat, they should have been able to do that. I mean, what did I have for an opposition? An IS-2 that came from behind, a Tiger-1. Ah, dang it. This is a gun trailer for you. Ah, that missed. Dang it, I need a spot on him. I need to see him. Critical hit. One. Critical hit, we tracked him. Ah, I need repairs before we reload. Dang it. Enemy armor is hit. Do the same way. Can we light him on fire as well? And I think Enemy I sort of made him doubt his decision to go there. He was just... Critical hit. Go for the engine deck again. Critical hit, it went slightly high and went to, to his back Enemy track. Enemy armor is damaged! Enemy armor is hit! Oh, good shot. Straight through his track, doing Enemy damage as well. Hit. Dang it, and the VK gets a kill. I'm getting screwed out of so many kills in this game, it's not even funny. Ooh. I know there's a KV-1 coming, but this T-29 is of more importance right now to kill. I need to help this E-25, because he's basically a two shots, if the T-29 is a top gun. And I know that the KV has a slow uh, moving speed. T-25 must be ammo racked, if he still hasn't killed him. He must be ammo racked or dead loader. Okay, that was pretty good, I would say. We did a lot of damage to him, and the only one alive is a KV-1. If you look at the map, my entire team is on the opposite side. I'm the only one left here. Well, I'm gonna have you, little KV. You are so mine. I'm not even afraid. I'm just gonna go straight into him. George, well, sort of. Oh, cute. He's turning his front. We. He saw there what I did. Immediately after a shoot, I angle. Ah, that one penned. Not that I really care, but I just don't want a repair bill. And we take him out for one kill. Woohoo! Let's take a look at the stats. That was actually our Mastery Badge Ace Tanker. Oh yeah, we messed that one up. We messed all of these pretty much up. Yeah. Engine, ammo rack, radio, track, fuel tank. See, I knew it, we got a fuel tank. It had to be. We got 1185 single experience. Um, this was during the event and I actually had a premium account. So that counted for a bit more. 2,800 damage done, 480 potential, and didn't really get shot. Killed one, damaged four, 41k profit, and a total of 3,554 experience. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.